You're listening to Morning Meditation with Rev. Tashi Campbell. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world does. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Indeed, this morning's meditation is about peace. Have you ever felt like you were in the middle of a storm? Nothing seems to be going as planned. You're wrapped up in a web of assignments from one task to another, to another, to another. Things are changing and they are changing rapidly. People are shifting. Seasons are more vivid in their intent. There is this wrestling going on between what you are committed to do and what you feel you are called to do. Yet, in all of this, there's peace. No, really. (laughs) You should have had a breakdown already. You should be physically ill because of stress. You should be burdened down and emotionally drained. But God's peace keeps you calm. God's peace dispels fear and brings your focus to the big picture. And what's that big picture? That big picture is advancing the kingdom of God. Peace. I thank you, Lord, for peace. I really can't live without it. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The psalmist says in Psalm chapter 29 verse 11, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And in Numbers, Numbers chapter 6, Verse 25 and verse 26. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. My friends, may the Lord show you special favor. May he show you mercy and listen to your prayers. May the Lord pay attention to you and your concerns. Peace. What is this peace that Numbers speaks about? It is the absence of evil, evil in the form of war or sickness. It is the presence of good and that being well-being and health. And this peace is from fellowship with God. Peace, shalom. The world promises peace, but it cannot give genuine peace. But with Jesus... Jesus' peace secures composure in the midst of trouble and dissolves fear. What an awesome God. His peace is perfect. Let us pray. Yes.
and we are grateful for the peace that you have so graciously given to those who will trust in you lord you have sent the advocate the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ to teach us all things and to remind us of everything you have said and today lord we bask in the fact that your peace keeps us grounded even when Everything around us gives us reason to be otherwise minded, to be confused and to be troubled and to be worried. But in Christ, this peace that passes all understanding is keeping our hearts and our minds guarded in you. Your peace we are grateful for. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Amen. Continue to meditate in this morning's meditation and worship the Lord for indeed he has given us peace God bless you that's my strength when I'm with you just can't stop getting closer to you when my mind I'm renewed and conform to the image of you, there's a peace running deep from my soul. My spirit bear witness that I'm a child of a king, and I'm sorry, I just can't walk the way I used to. Running deep from my soul. 